going to do, I have a gallon of milk here that I have. The original recipe that I had gotten was for, it was for two gallons of milk. But it's just Doug and I, so all, I half it. So if you want to make more, then use two gallons of milk. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to strain off the cream here first because you don't want to use the cream. And I love this cream because I use it for my chai tea lattes in the morning. So I love to use it in my cream. Or if you put it in your tea or if you guys drink coffee, you can put it in your coffee. Nothing's better than fresh cream. And there's your cheese right there. Mozzarella cheese. Hi guys, my name is Stacy. And if you're new to our channel, my husband and I moved from the city to live a pioneer lifestyle out in the country in a log cabin with no solar power or electricity and we are loving it. And I wanted to bring you guys along today because I'm going to make a chia seed blueberry lemon jam. So let's come on over. So what I'm using here is some frozen blueberries. If you don't grow your own berries, and you can utilize and do any kind of berries, strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, um, I would highly suggest, because this tastes the best, with frozen berries. So get them from the grocery store, organic berries from there, and it turns out great. Or, of course, if you grow your own, then you can just freeze them and it works out great. But here's my blueberries, and then the thing that pops it for me is I like to put lemons with it. So I went ahead and zested, I just kind of grated the skin a little bit, and then I did about half of a lemon, put it in there, probably a couple tablespoons or so, of the juice with the zest. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do this little magic ingredient, which is the chia seeds. Chia seeds are a super, super food. I love them, they are high in fiber, which is great for your digestion. I'm gonna go ahead and put about, this is, I guess this was about three cups or so. I'm going to go ahead and put three tablespoons in there because that's going to gel it up. It's good for your digestion. It's high in calcium, gives you energy. The Mayans used to call it, it's like a superfood. It means strength and power. And I'm going to go ahead and mix this all up. I have this pickle packer that I have in my Mason Tops fermenting kit. And if you guys don't have a Mason Top fermenting kit and you're not fermenting, I highly suggest it because I love it. It's so easy. It makes fermenting so simple. We will link that above. So check it out. We've got some videos on it. And if you're interested in a Mason Tops fermenting kit, well, the links will be below too. So I'm going to mash it a little bit. I like my uh, berries to be kind of whole. So I'm only just going to kind of push it a little bit. And the great thing about these little chia seeds, because they're so vitamin and mineral rich, and they're going to also blow up. So they're going to blow up and kind of turn it into more like a jelly. So I'm going to let this set. And what's the good thing about this is, let's say you're on a diet where you can't have any sugar, um, any sweetener. This is a great alternative that you can use on your toast, on your yogurts, on your granola, and your cereal, your oatmeal, you know, whatever you want to put something that's kind of fruity or, or tastes good on. And you can do it without any sweetener, or you can add maple syrup. Maple syrup adds a great little flavor to it. I'm just going to put a little dash to it, but it's to your taste. And maple syrup is natural. It doesn't, it's not processed, it's not pasteurized. So I'm just going to put a little bit in there, go ahead and mash that up a little, and I'm going to put this in the ice box for about 30 minutes and it's going to gel up. Now if you don't want to use it within 30 minutes, it's just going to, it'll get a little thicker. You can let it set overnight if you want to prepare, prepare this the night before, you can. Well, it is the next day. I told you guys, you know, you could put the chia seed jam in for 30 minutes. Um, but I had things going on and I was going to use it for the next day anyway and if you guys really want to do it and it tastes better, I like to wait the whole night and then do it the next day. And what I have done is I put it in a little jar like this, so let's look at it, and we're going to have it with our breakfast. Look at that. I mean, sweet. It hasn't been processed, it hasn't been heated up, it has all its nutritional value in it. Um, you know, you can do it no sugar, some maple syrup in there, a little honey. I mean, it's amazing. And so what we're going to do is put it on with our breakfast today. Today I made frittatas. I'll link a video above. I, I love these frittatas. They're so simple and easy. We put them in these little cool cast iron pans. It works great. And then all I did was made some sprouts. So this is a healthy, wonderful, nutritious breakfast that will fill you up, stick to your ribs, 
So all I did was cut up some of our um, onions that we had grown earlier this year, some parsley that I'm still growing, and then some peppers and some tomatoes, and we're gonna put it on top, and let me show you how I do it. You just put your egg there, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put my mixture of, and then put a little salt and pepper on there too. And then I got some homemade yogurt. I'm gonna put on top of that. You can use sour cream too, a little salsa. And then I'm gonna put this scrumptious, no cook, chia seed, blueberry lemon jam on my sprouted wheat English muffin. And we are going to chow down. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we'll see you guys later. See ya. And I'm even going to have a little fermented carrots on mine. Bon appetit. Super easy food and healthy for you. It tastes good too. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. You might want to check out these videos. And if you want to become a homestead homie, click the picture of us below. We, we will, will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow.